Hey, I'm Chris Zepp from Make Everything, and today I'm going to show you a quick and cheap way to get remote control for your dust collector that's either on a 110 or a 220 collector for about 25 bucks using this little device from Amazon. Check it out. All right, before we get started, just a little background. Uh, my dust collector is in a closet and the switch is over there on the wall. Now the switch is great because I don't have to go into the closet to turn it on, but a lot of times when I'm rushing, or especially when I'm wearing hearing protection, I forget to turn on the dust collector and I make a cut, I get dust everywhere, then I have to go back and redo it. I wanted a remote control for the dust collector, but since it's 220, they can be kind of expensive. They're about $80 each. Now I was looking around on Amazon and I found this little RF uh, transmitter that works, I think it's set up to 400 volts, and it's very simple. You've got wires in and out, and a little remote control like this, it sends an RF signal, and it basically closes the circuit. Now I'm gonna enclose it in this little box to make it safe, and all for about $25, I will have a really elegant little dust collector remote solution that I could really use on any 220 volt machine in my shop. Let's get into it. All right, so this is what we're gonna get started with. This is a little transmitter that I got on Amazon. Now this is rated for 110 or 220 um, and we could simply just wire in our leads right into this and just mount this on the wall but that seems a little too sketchy for me. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to enclose it in this little electrical box that I got from Home Depot. Now this box has already has clamps built into it and it's this little thing right here. You tighten this down and it compresses and will clamp whatever wire goes through the bottom. So what I wanna do is I wanna position this in the box. We're gonna run our wires in, tie them into this, and then we're gonna secure this box inside the electrical box itself. This is the antenna. We're gonna stick this out through a little hole and this should work. Now instead of doing this right onto the cord of my dust collector, I'm going to do it onto this 220 volt extension, extension cord. So I'm going to cut this cord and then I'm going to have my in and my out and all it's going to do is add a little, you know, a little bit to this cord um, instead of cutting the wire on my actual collector. Now we're going to cut this wire and then we're going to cut back a little bit of this jacket. All right, so now we've got two sides of this wire. We've got green, black, and white on both sides. This is the male end that goes into the plug. This is the female end, as you can see right here. Now, we're going to push them onto here. We've got the line and the neutral. L would be the black, M would be the white, and we're just gonna match these up. White's gonna go on N on both sides, and black's gonna go on L on both sides. We've got our input and our output. This thing is labeled. Before we do that, we're gonna push the wires in through the bottom of this box. And to do that, you just break these little tabs off. We're gonna cut back a little more of this jacket so we have more room to mess with these wires. We're going to strip these back as well. Now the ground, there is no connection for the ground here on this little switch and that's fine because we're actually just going to connect the grounds to themselves because we want to keep a continuous ground going throughout this cord. Now if you're not comfortable doing electrical work, don't do this. Um, it is pretty self-explanatory, right? You've got white goes to white, black goes to black, green goes to green. All we're doing is we're continuing the circuit that this extension cord is providing, but we're pushing it through this little switch. You've got your wires ran through here. You can cinch down this little clamp. And it's gonna act as what's called a strain relief. So it's gonna keep these wires 
from being able to be pulled out once it's down nice and tight. So now these wires can't get yanked out of there. I'll bring you in close while I wire that. This is our output on the right and our input on the left. You can flip this little tab open and then you can see we've got little wire terminals in there. Now if we loosen these up, we can put our wire in underneath them. We've got our white, our neutral, our black, our line. Now this is 220. This doesn't really apply, but we have to pick letters to associate with each color wire and we have to stick with them. Make sure all these are nice and tight. And now we'll take our grounds. We can flip this little cover back down, take our grounds. We'll connect these with a wire nut. So now essentially this extension cord is reconnected and once we put it inside this box and put a cover on it, it'll be safe because nothing will be able to get in there. Now we can bend this over and stick our little antenna wire out through one of these holes. So right away if I press the on and off button it comes with two of these little remotes. See that little green light turns on, that means it's on press it again, it's off. There's just a little switch in here and it's controlled through radio frequency through this little antenna. So now if I put the cover on this box, just to make it safe, I can hear it clicking on and off. Let's go over to my dust collector, plug it in, and we'll see if it works. Okay, so here we've got the cord to my 220 dust collector. Now if I plug this into the extension cord, it's in the off position now. If I press the button, the on button, you can hear it turn on. Press the off button, you can hear it turn off. I'm gonna go across the shop and see if it still works. And just for some specs, because I know people are going to ask if it's actually rated for this amount of power. So it's a 40 amp relay that's good up to 264 volts. So this is a 30 amp circuit running to my dust collector and it runs on 220 volts. So this thing will be fine. All right, that about does it for this video. So again, 25 bucks gets you something like this. I put mine on an extension cord and the extension cord did cost me a couple of bucks. It's a 220 cord um, and I ordered that on Amazon as well. But if you just wanted to put this in line with your existing dust collector plug-in, this wouldn't cost you anything more than the transmitter and the electrical box and cover from like Home Depot or the hardware store. Now, if you decided that you didn't want to use the transmitter anymore, you could take the cover off of this box, remove the transmitter, and just use wire nuts to reconnect the wire on your dust collector. The only thing you would be left with is this additional box in line with your cord. So it's really simple to install this and really simple to uninstall it if it were to break or if you decided you just didn't want it anymore. I'm gonna do some testing with this over time. Obviously I just set it up so I don't know how long this transmitter is gonna last, but I read reviews online of people using these with great success, so I'm confident this is gonna be fine. One of the other main applications for this for me is I just got a new CNC router from Tormach. It's the 24R and it has an amazing vacuum table. And this will be awesome because the vacuum pump is actually on the back side of the machine and I'm not able to get to it the way that I have it set up against the wall. So now I'll be able to turn on and off the 220 volt vacuum table with this remote control and it's just going to make my workflow that much better. I can just turn it on when I start a cut and turn it off when I'm done. If you like this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and videos here in the shop making stuff. Um, if you want links to anything that I used in this they will all be down in the description all through Amazon and you can buy all the stuff that I used. Obviously it's not a lot and uh, yeah it works out great. Don't forget to follow me here on Instagram at Make Everything Shop and don't forget to check out my new podcast with Paul Pinto and Derek from Malden called The Handmade Podcast. You can follow that on Instagram as well and check us out on all the podcast networks. Thanks so much for watching. Again, I'm Chris Zep for Make Everything, and I will see you on the next video. I already lost the remote.